Pasta Mari and Monti, sea and mountains pasta, the flavors of the sea and the mountains are together in one dish. You will love it. Look at this masterpiece. Mm, oh God, look at that. My God, my God, yummy. Look at juicy, juicy. To make my Mare Monti pasta, sea and mountains pasta, we need 10 large king prawns, 250 grams of mushrooms, and I've chose a mix of porcini and other mushrooms, and then you need 500 grams of vongole, clams. Then we need 250 grams of chopped cherry tomatoes, a nice amount of chopped parsley, two large garlic cloves, extra virgin olive oil, one standard glass of white wine, any wine that you want. The pasta shape I chose for this recipe is calamarata. Beautiful pasta, this shape, but you can use anything else, linguine, penne, whatever you like. The first thing we want to cook are the clams, okay? So the clams, the vongole, need to be cooked separately. So we have about three, four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now what we do is we break the garlic in half and we place it with the oil, okay? And now, it's time to add the vongole, the clams. Now we add like a sprinkle of parsley. And you know here we have the glass of wine. We're only putting half of this, half glass of wine in there. Okay, we toss. And now we let it cook until all the vongole are open. And it takes about five, maximum 10 minutes. Now, on a different pan, we put four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. We crush one garlic. I like when it's crushed because it brings the flavors out. Crush, here it is. We cook the garlic for about 20 seconds. And then we add the mushrooms. Put a nice amount of parsley. And now we're gonna cook the mushrooms for about 10 minutes. And guys, after about five minutes, can you see all the vongole here, are nice and open? Beautiful. So we can cook for five more minutes. And at the same time, we're gonna create the perfect sauce for this pasta. See, look at that, look how beautiful. Let's put more parsley here, be generous. Now we can add the rest of the wine here. Let's put the rest of the wine. Now all our vongole are open. We added more wine and now we can cook it for five more minutes uncovered. Okay, so no covered. We want the wine to evaporate and the wine will turn into a sauce. Okay, so five more minutes to go and the vongole will be ready. See, for me, these vongole are ready the way they are. For me, I just need to put some spaghetti in there and I can enjoy a fantastic meal. This is my favorite dish, just the way it is. Wine, parsley, garlic, vongole, linguine or spaghetti, I'm in heaven. <laughs> so what we need to do here, very simple. We get the vongole, and basically we want to get the meat out of the, the, the shell, we throw out the shell. So here we get the fish out of the shell because we don't need the shell. We don't want to eat the shell. Shell can go. Be careful because it's very hot, okay? So basically here we just want to keep the fish. This can go. It is an important step because in my personal, in my personal opinion, when I eat pasta, I don't want the shell in it, okay? I don't want the shell to ruin my culinary experience. When I eat, I want to eat. I don't want to be worried about what I put inside my mouth. I want to be safe when I eat. All the vongole are out, all out. So what we do now, we also remove the garlic. And now we can rest this on the side. Now let's go back to the mushrooms. As you can see, it's been 10 minutes and they are ready, almost ready. What we're going to do now is we're going to put the cherry tomatoes inside because the cherry tomatoes will give us the juice that we want. 
a little bit of parsley, some salt and pepper, nice amount of salt, pepper, and stir. Now the cherry tomatoes will release that beautiful juice that is priceless. When you mix that juice with the cherry tomatoes and the seafood, oh, simplicity at its best. Now let's cook the cherry tomatoes for about five to seven minutes. As soon as we put the cherry tomatoes in the pan, we start boiling the pasta, okay? So we're gonna use one tablespoon of rock salt in boiling water, and then we add the pasta. This pasta takes 13 minutes to cook. Now, back to the cherry tomatoes. When you can see the cherry tomatoes getting softer, you can press on them. This is something I like to do. You press so you help to get the juice out. Kind of help the mushrooms so they have less work to do. See? See, easy. Just do that. At the same time, the skin will come off. So after five minutes of cooking the cherry tomatoes, we have the juice out here. So what we can do now, we add the prawns, the scampi, but you can replace it with calamari or any other seafood that you want. Stir. At this point, guys, we have four minutes left with the pasta. So let's get the pasta water. Now let's add half mug of pasta water in here. Perfect, perfection. Now this pasta water, what it's gonna do is gonna help to combine all the ingredients. It will get more juice out of the tomatoes. Look at the prawns, look at the prawns. The pink, they're almost ready. It only takes a few minutes for the prawns to cook, okay? Really, it takes no time. Now this pasta water is also helping not to burn our ingredients, okay? So we keep the ingredients moist. And we're pretty much ready, guys. Two more minutes and this sauce will be ready. Hey guys, let's get the pasta, put it together with the vongole. Okay guys, so the f why I wanna do this? I wanna do this because this is like making spaghetti e vongole, you know? Uh, basically, I wanna give the flavor to this calamarata pasta first, the flavor from the vongole. At the same time, we get the vongole making love with the pasta, going inside the pasta. Okay, so here we have it. Let's do a quick toss, quick toss. Guys, look, this is perfect the way it is. Honestly, what else do you need to do? Look how fantastic this pasta is. It's ready to be served, but I'm going to mix it with the rest of the sauce. Now, we move the pasta, put this back on the stove. Let's add the pasta in here. It's wonderful pasta. Yum, guys, this is a flavor of the best. Guys, the amount of flavors that we have here, oh, you can't count it, uncountable. Now, what we need to do now, one more thing to do, we wanna add pasta water in there, not much, just a little bit. Put some parsley. And now it's time to toss again, my favorite time. Toss, toss, come on. Let's make this pasta even creamier. Come on, come on, come on. Pasta Mare Monti, I love you. You take me back home with this. You take me back home. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Huh? Fantastic. Fantastic. Guys, this is time now to serve this wonderful pasta. You just wanna put this in a big bowl, 
and put it in the middle of the table. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Let's put extra sauce everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Sprinkle of parsley. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Mare Monti pasta for you. Look at this guys, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look how juicy, juicy pasta. Yummy. Best time of the video recipe. Time to eat. So juicy, wow, so moist. Let's try. Mm. Pasta cooked to perfection. I like the flavors that we uh, from the bongole. That bongole sauce plays such an important role. This pasta is moist, it's juicy, which is what we want. It's silky, it melts in your mouth. Mm. You get the bongole, surprise, and the porcini mushroom, surprise, inside the calamarata. That's why I think it's a great choice, this pasta. And here we have this beautiful prawns. Mm. Mm -hmm. What a magnificent dish. What a magnificent dish that you guys need to try at least once in a lifetime. At least once. Mushrooms, prawns, clams, and you're done. Mm. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's plate. Hmm. Do I prefer the sea or the mountains? Both. I put them in the same plate. <laughs>